hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is linda and welcome to crystal family i have this recipe that i want to show you guys how i prepare this meal first of all i have all my ingredients that i will need and i will leave the ingredients under the description so check it out guys so my pan is already heated and i have two oils that i'm using for this recipe because I don't have enough palm oil. So this vegetable oil I used to fry my plantain, the leftover, and I'm adding my palm oil to it. So the next thing I did was to make sure that the oil is not too bleached. So I give it a stir and low the heat. And when it's okay for me, I just add my ginger garlic to it, make it fry for two to three minutes. So I just stir fry it for two to three minutes while the heat is on low. After three minutes, I move on with the next stage. That's the onion. So I I fry the onion for three minutes together with the ginger garlic so I just stir fry it allow it to fry on that slow heat a little time I just stir it again and allow it to fry again you make sure that your onion will not burn so here I have the tomato paste I just added it to it and it was frozen I forgot to remove it <laughs> To let it melt so i just add it to it and it will diffuse inside the oil because of the heat so it will so i was just stirring it making sure that it will melt fast and i'll move on with the next thing so finally it melts <laughs> So guys these are my tomatoes and my pepe i used two two fresh tomatoes and four habanero pepe so i just cut it into this size i did not blend i want it this way because of the bean stew that i'm making whenever i'm preparing bean stew i don't blend my tomatoes and pepe i cut it like that and that one too i just give it a stay and you see my heat my stew you think it's not boiling but it is because the heat is on low that's why i always make sure that my stew making is like that because too much of heat at the end of the day your stew or your soup you think that it is well cooked but it's not so you just allow the heat to be in a medium or low so the next stage is for me to seasoning my stew so this is cumin powder and I proceed with the other spice that I have. That's oregano, other thing. I'll leave all these things under the description to so check it out. So I just seasoning it well. After adding the seasonings to the steel base, I allow it to fry on the low heat and make sure that everything is well balanced the pepper the salt everything is okay because immediately i add the beans i'm not going to add any spice or any seasoning to it so i seasoning so this is crayfish that i just added to it so i just give it a stir and allow it to fry for some minutes before i add the other thing that i need to add to the stew guys if you have watched up to this time please share my videos subscribe to my channel and like comment
adding the fish to it i just do the stir make sure everything is okay and then i move on with the next ingredient that's the ground tuna and sardine so that's it that's the sardine and the ground tuna i want to i also give it a stir and allow the stew to fry for some minutes and this stage the next thing is the beans that i will add to it and that is it so i just tasted it the salt the pepper everything is okay so it's left with the beans the beans have already cooked it i have a video on how i cook the beans i've already uploaded it on the channel please check it out so these are the beans that i just add everything to it i don't throw my beans water away so i make sure that when it's well cooked the water is not too much so that's how i cook my beans for the bean stew so please check it i'll leave the link under the description go and check it out guys guys thank you all for the love and support you've shown in, on my channel god bless you all and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please check it out share the links subscribe to my channel and comment under the comment section <laughs>